In this video, I have solved three numericals on parallel resonant circuits. These are the three numericals. Let me consider one by one. The first numerical is two branches of a parallel circuit have elements RL is equal to 6 ohm, L is equal to 1 millihenry, and RC is equal to 4 ohm and C equal to 20 microfarad. Determine the frequency of resonance when excited with voltage source of variable frequency. That is the same thing. Let me draw the circuit for this. It's a parallel resonance circuit which consists of RL in series with XL and we have RC in series with XC. So let me mention the values. Here RL is 6 ohm. Let this be RL is equal to 6 ohm and we have L which is 1 milli Henry and here we have RC the value of RC is 4 ohm and the capacitance value is 20 microfarad determine the frequency of resonance when excited with voltage source of variable frequency so here there is a voltage source connected in parallel and its frequency is variable so we suppose to calculate for what frequency the circuit will resonate. So we supposed to calculate omega naught that is resonant frequency in terms of radians per second or F naught in terms of hertz. Both are same. We know that in parallel resonant circuits, the frequency of resonance is given by omega naught is equal to square root of 1 over LC L minus C C R L square divided by L minus C R C square. So this is the formula. Let me write here frequency of resonance in parallel resonant circuit so one should remember this formula now let me simplify this omega naught is equal to let me substitute the values so here we have 1 upon l l value is 1 milli henry that is 1 into 10 power 3 into c value is 20 microfarad 20 into 10 power minus 6 l minus crl square l value is 1 into 10 power minus 3 minus C is 20 into 10 power minus 6 into RL. RL value is 6. 6 square divided by we have L that is same 1 into 10 power minus 3 minus C value is 20 into 10 power minus 6 into RC. RC value is 4 that is 4 square. Now let me simplify this further. Omega naught is equal to we have under root. So 1 upon this it gives 50 into 10 power 6 and in bracket here the numerator value will be 2.8 into 10 power minus 4 divided by the denominator value will be 6.8 into 10 power minus 4 so now let me simplify this further therefore I can write omega naught is equal to we have under root 50 into 10 power 6 into so 2.8 divided by 6.8 it gives 0.41176 so now simplifying this, we'll get omega naught is equal to 4537.42 radians per second. So this is the resonant frequency in terms of radians per second. Or we can also keep it the result in hertz as we know that omega naught is equal to 2 pi f naught. Therefore, f naught equal to 4, 5, 
थ्री सेवन पॉइंट फोर टू डिवाइडेड बाई टू पाई दट इज डिवाइडेड बाई टू पाई इट गिवस सेवन ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट वन फाइव हर्ट्स सो बोथ आंसर्स आर करेक्ट आइदर यू कैन कीप द रिजल्ट इन हर्ट्स और इन रेडियंस पर सेकेंड नो लेट मी कंसिडर द सेकेंड न्यूमेरिकल डिटरमाइन आर एल एंड आर सी फॉर विच द सर्किट शोन इन फिगर resonates at all frequencies this is the given circuit the circuit resonates at all frequencies if we choose rl value is equal to rc is equal to under root l by c so one should remember this condition if we choose the value of rl is equal to rc as under root l by c then this circuit will resonate at all frequencies therefore i can write rl is equal to rc is equal to under root l l value is 4 milli divided by c value is 40 micro or i can write Under root four into ten power minus three divided by forty into ten power minus six. So simplifying this, it gives under root hundred. So therefore, R L is equal to R C is equal to square root of hundred is ten ohms. That is, if we choose R L is equal to R C is equal to ten ohm, then the circuit will resonates for all frequencies. so here one should remember this condition now let me consider the third numerical for the network shown below determine the value of c at which it resonates when f equal to 100 hertz also find the values of rl and rc at which the circuit resonates at all frequencies so here this is the given circuit so here we can see that rl value is 8 ohm rc value is 8 ohm both are same and xl that is inductive reactance value is 6 ohm we supposed to calculate first xc value such that the circuit will resonate for the frequency f equal to 100 hertz it means here resonant frequency is f not is equal to 100 hertz so this is the given data now we suppose to find the value of c for which the circuit will resonate at f equal to 100 we know that in parallel resonant circuits the circuit will resonate when net susceptance of the admittance equal to 0 one should remember this condition it means that the condition is xl divided by xl square plus rl square is equal to xc divided by xc square plus rc square so this is the net susceptance of the admittance in case of parallel resonant circuits now let me substitute the values here the xl value is 6 ohm that is 6 divided by xl square that is 6 square and rl value is 8 ohm so it is 6 square plus 8 square is equal to we have xc that we supposed to calculate keep xc as it is divided by xc square plus rc square that is xc square plus rc value is again 8 8 square let me simplify this 6 divided by that is 
36 plus 64 it is 100 is equal to xc divided by xc square plus 64 so this is nothing but 0 0.06 is equal to xc divided by xc square plus 64 let me simplify this further that is 0 0.06 x e square plus 64 is equal to x e or I can write 0 0.06 x e square plus 0 0.06 into 64 it gives 3.84 is equal to x e or I can write it as 0 0.06 x e square minus x e plus 3.84 is equal to 0. So now here we can see that this is the quadratic equation. We are supposed to find the roots of this quadratic equations. The roots of quadratic equation can be calculated using the formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus root p square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now with the help of this, we will try to calculate the roots of this quadratic equation. We know that it is of form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Comparing this expression with this, we can say a is equal to 0 0.06 and b is minus 1 and c is 3.84. Now let me substitute the values. Therefore, x is equal to b. b is already negative, so it will be plus 1 plus or minus we have b square that is 1 minus 4 into a value is 0 0.06 into c value is 3.84 whole divided by we have 2 into 0 0.06 solving this I will get x is equal to 1 plus or minus we have 0 0.0784 whole divided by we have 0.12 or I can write x is equal to 1 plus or minus 0.28 divided by 0.12 or I can write xc1 is equal to 1 plus 0.28 divided by 0.12 which is nothing but 10.667 and x e 2 value will be 1 minus 0 0.28 divided by 0 0.12 it gives 6 so with the help of this x e 1 and x e 2 we can calculate the c value so here this quadratic equation can also be solved directly using calculator there also we will get direct answer that is 10.667 or 6 either can be solved using this formula or can be solved using calculator. So now we have xc1 is equal to 10.667. We know that xc xc is nothing but 1 upon omega naught c, or I can write xc1 is equal to 1 upon omega naught is nothing but 2 pi f naught into c. So here I will call this c as c1 so because we have two values. Therefore, I can write C1 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi f naught into xc1 or I can write C1 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi into f naught is 100 which is given in the problem and xc1 value is 10.667. So, solving this we will get C1 is equal to 149.20 microfarad. So if we choose the value of C as 149.20 microfarad then this parallel resonant circuit will resonate for the frequency f equal to 100 hertz. So we have another value that is xc2 is equal to 6 or I can write xc2 is equal to 1 upon omega naught c2 or c2 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi f naught into xc2 or c2 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi into 100 into 6 solving this we will get c2 is equal to 265.25 
microfarad. So that is if you choose the value of capacitor either 149.20 microfarad or 265.25 microfarad the circuit will resonate for the frequency of equal to 100 hertz. This is, I will see another part of the problem that is also find values of RL and RC at which the circuit resonates at all frequencies. So here XL value is 6 ohm, XL is 6 ohm. So therefore we know that XL is equal to omega naught L or 2 pi F naught into L. With the help of this I can find L which is XL divided by 2 pi F naught. So XL value is 6 divided by 2 pi into 100. Therefore L value will be 9.54 9 into 10 power 3 Henry. We know that the condition that is RL is equal to RC is equal to under root L by C. If you choose this, then the circuit will resonate for all frequencies. Therefore, I can write under root L value is 9.549 into 10 power minus 3 divided by C value is either we can take this or this. I will take this 149.20 into micro that is 10 power minus 6 solving this 8 ohm or also I can consider RL equal to RC equal to square root of L by C that is nothing but square root of L value is same that is 9.549 into 10 power minus 3 divided by now I will choose the other C value that is 265.25 265.25 into 10 power minus 6 so solving this 6 ohm so this is the complete solution for the given numerical thank you for watching